Hi YouTube, I'm back again and I'd like to talk about my Pink Floyd collection. I am a huge, huge Pink Floyd fan. <laughs> I have all their albums on right now. I don't all fall over. I love Pink Floyd since about last year. Early last year I started listening to their stuff. You know, you start with the the obvious, the classics like Dark Side of the Moon and The Wall, which I really loved. And then I just started listening to all the albums. And they really hit me. You know, they really hit a spark in my head that says, ah, oh, I like this. I have always thought that Oasis are the best band in the world. But if someone said to me that Pink Floyd is the best band in the world, I wouldn't disagree with them. But this is also the first album, which is just a masterpiece, the Sid Barrett. Now I will do, I've got Sid Barrett albums on vinyl as well, but I'll give him a, a separate video. But for those who don't know, Sid Barrett, that beautiful man there, was the original founder and lead singer and primary songwriter for Pink Floyd in the early, early 60s. So all the songs in here by him and he is an absolute genius you know his music is just it's some of the best around i don't know i'm really bad at explaining things so ignore me but my favorite song and one of my favorite pink floyd songs is the first one astronomy domin astronomy domin which sounds like just a space right like you're flying through space and can you imagine that when this album came out in 1967, you must have had your mind blown. So sadly, Sid Barrett had his issues and some problems and left the band. Well, I don't know whether he left the band or he was replaced with David Gilmour. But, and then moving on, we'll have a source of full of secrets which is another fantastic, they're all fantastic. And I like the cover on this one. It's like, what the hell is going on there? And the back, which is cool. So this is songs off this album I really like. I love Corporal Clegg. Just the fun loving kazoo nature of Cor Corporal Clegg. I love Jug Band Blues at the end, the last Sid Barrett song. The lyrics, and that song, considering, you know, what was going on with Sid and the band, it's absolutely beautiful. And then the first song, Let There Be More Light, is great. I will say, though, the title track, the Source for the Secrets, is not a favourite of mine. It's trying to sound like In the Stellar Overdrive. It's trying to be a lengthy instrumental piece, like the first album, and in my mind it fails. I just don't like it, which is probably one of the only Pink Floyd songs I have a problem with. Saying that, their worst album by far, which does have a gatefold, mm -hmm. a lovely gatefold. So I have listened through in Laguna a few times, and I just, I just, I want to like it because I love Pink Floyd, but I can't. I just don't like it. I don't know a lot of people don't like it either, but this album is just not very good. The live album, the live album is alright. Pink Floyd sound great live, but I've never gotten into this album. Just never. So now we move on to the soundtrack for more, Pink Floyd's more. Two songs of this album are definitely the Nile song and I Be For Bar which sounded like a grunge punk outfit band. They really did punk in, I think this is 1969. Yeah, 1969, July 1969. That's really cool. And the song Cymbeline is really good as well. But definitely check out the Nile song and I Be For Bar from this album. So moving on, we have I don't know whether this one comes next, but Relics by Pink Floyd, which is a singles album. It comes with 
Arnold Lane, which is their first song, which is a great track that comes with Sam Willie Play. But the two best on this one are definitely Paint Box. You should check out Lightning Spad for Paint Box and Julia's Dream or Julia Dream. It's a really beautiful song. They're great songs by the band. So you do get the Nile song on here as well, which is great. But this is definitely one to check out. So uh, moving on. We have Adam Hartman, the, the car album, which is not one of my favourites. But I do like the long instrumental. I quite like the long instrumental. And there's three cows on the back. And I like the song If. It's just called If. And Fat Old Son is a great song. This is a hit and miss album, but it's I mean it's definitely worth getting if you're into that sort of thing. But this medal medal is one of their best albums. And in my mind, this is the best prog rock album. The song which is not on well show you the gatefold, the beautiful band. But the song Echoes from this album is brilliant. It's one of their best songs and in my mind the best prog rock song ever. You have to check out Echoes. And I know it's 20 minutes long, which might not be for some people, but you definitely should give it a shout. And the song Fearless is great. And what's it? San Topaz is a great song as well. And then we have one of my least favourite albums of theirs. The only the song that really speaks to me of this one is Free For, which is a great, great, fun loving song with really, really sad lyrics. This is definitely one to check out. And the last song, Absolutely Curtains, at the end it contains a chant. And from what I read, the chant at the end of this album is from a Aboriginal group in India that doesn't exist anymore, or something like that. I might be really wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry if I am. But then we have obviously Dark Side of the Moon. Everyone loves Dark Side of the Moon. Ugh. Gatefold. I love this album. I can't say anything more than I love it. Every song, from start to finish, this album is perfect. If somebody said this album is the best album in the world ever. I would agree. Just ignore all the thumbprints. This album's terrible for, <laughs> or at least the fabric. It's not so damn, it's really confusing. <laughs> I did have the poster which was on the wall, but the only poster I have now is the Beatles White Album one. But definitely, if you want to get into Pink Floyd, this is a good starting point. So then, moving on again, obviously, next one. My favourite Pink Floyd album, Wish You Were Here, which I know I've showed it before, but I have tattooed on my skin. <laughs> but this, from start to finish, Shine On You Crazy Diamond, is such a beautiful song. And there's four chords, there's four guitar chords. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I get goosebumps. Of course, I'll show you the inside, or at least the sleeve. Of course, the song, the title song, Wish You Were Here, is beautiful. Everyone loves that song. But this album is perfect. Now, there is nothing wrong with this album. Moving on, we have. Oh, oh, hold on, they're all falling over. No, this is professional. Boop. <laughs> Animals, which is a great album. Lyric, uh, lyrically, is that a word? Lyric, the lyrics on this album are perfect. I love it. Oh, gatefold. I don't know how well you can see them when I do that, because the lighting is not very good. But so you got 
it and it starts with pigs on the wing and ends with it and i love the contrast between the lyrics the one is about falling out of love and the other is about falling in love as well as sheep i loved sheep the chorus on sheep pardon me all professional on the robin gallagher channel but definitely check out sheep oh. Next one, the big one, The Wall, Pink Floyd's The Wall, which is, again, just a masterpiece. You can't go wrong with this album, start to finish. It really tells the story of Pink, and the film as well. I've got the film on DVD, because I couldn't find it anywhere else. The film is perfect, the album is perfect. I don't really do, you know, 10 out of 10, but if... I did, this would be a 10 out of 10. It is truly perfect album. And I like the cursive writing used on the vinyl sleeves. This is absolutely amazing. There wouldn't there ever be an album like this again. Right, I'm getting confused. Songs, I should, continuity and all that. Songs, I can't really pick one to be honest though. I suppose I like the song Is There Anybody Out There, which is really beautifully done. But I can't pick a song out of the wall and say you should listen to it, because the wall is a story from start to finish. And if you want to experience this album, you need to listen start to finish. Definitely. And then, so next we have Pink Floyd's The Final Cut which is, I think, is a great album. Most people don't like this album, but I really do. Especially the song, The Final Cut, and Not Now, John, which I have a single. I have the single somewhere, which I might have done a video on, I think. Maybe not. But this is, you know, this is perfect. I love this album. I don't know why people hate it. I know it's not as good as The Wall, or previous efforts by the band, and it's much more Roger Waters than any other album, but it still holds up. It's this next one, which, so we have a momentary lapse of reason, which I don't really, the first side of this album is really good. Signs of, well, learning to fly, the dogs of war. So this first side is really good from start to finish. But the second side, it just sort of loses me. It sounds I know it's an 80s album, and just it's really mainstream. And it, I just I just lose track of this album. I've never actually finished it, maybe once or twice. But I just can't get into this album. I don't don't, don't come out, don't fall out. And then one of my favorite bits is the best post Roger Waters Pink Floyd effort. The Division Bell. The best song of this album and a song you should check out is High Hopes, the ending track, which is absolutely beautiful. You must check out High Hopes from this album, The Division Bell. Some of the artwork, some of the artwork is really creepy. Those faces, I, I don't know what it is. I don't like them. Take it back, keep talking with, what's his name, uh, Stephen Hawking is on this album, <laughs> those of you interested. And then um, we do have, 2014, they come out with Louder Than Words, which is a mostly instrumental album, but I think it's still beautiful at that. You know, if I'm tired and I just want to lie down, I will sometimes just stick this album out because it's mostly instrumentals. The song that ends it louder than words is brilliant. I really like that song. But this is definitely one to check out. And I love the artwork of the sky and the river. I think this is great. I do have a special, which it wasn't she, but a live album or a live box set of Pink Floyd's Pulse, which I won't go through all of it, but 
It has some really beautiful artwork. So I might do a video on, of it by itself just to go over all the artwork. But this is definitely worth a listen. If you, you, know, you can get it on Spotify or whatever. Jesus, that shouldn't be so, <laughs> so hard to put it in. But maybe not listen to all of it because it is like four hours long thing. <laughs> but you definitely should give this a go. It comes with a book as well if you get it on vinyl. Which basically just has pictures from my live shows. Ooh, that's the end of the book. Uh, just, it's a beautiful band. See, I like Pink Floyd post Roger Waters. I know most people stop listening, but I think Pink Floyd from start to finish was brilliant. And I'm a huge Pink Floyd fan. If you couldn't tell. But thanks for watching me ramble about Pink Floyd. And if you'd like, let me know what band you'd like me to talk about next. And I'll ramble on for a bit more. I'll see you again soon.